Are you a mechanic or a technical service provider and want to digitize your business? Well, let me show you how to create a repair request form with JotForm. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in our template gallery. Now there are two different ways that you can create your own repair request form. One is to start from scratch and the other one is to utilize a template. So let's go ahead and use our search option and let's just do a quick search for repair. And as of the time of this recording, we have 106 search results for the word repair. Now, no matter your industry, you can see that we have something for pretty much everybody. We have the auto repair release. We also have equipment repair, computer repair, credit repair, any type of mechanic or technical service provider, you can find a template for your needs. Now, for this example, we're actually gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and head up to my forms. In the top left hand corner, we're going to choose that orange create form button and I'm going to start from scratch on the classic form and let's go ahead and change the name of this form to repair request and we can see once we hit enter, it's going to automatically rename the form name to repair request. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Perfect. Now let's add in some form elements that we would like to collect from our user. So over on the left hand side, we're going to choose add form element. And let's go ahead and add in the basics. We can add in a full name, email, address, and phone number. And let's say we would like to add either the date picker or the appointment option. For this example, let's just go ahead and choose that date picker. Now, most of us run our businesses off of appointments, so we can always add in that appointment option as well. So I personally think this is probably the better option. So let's go ahead and get rid of that date picker. Now, if we choose that appointment option, we can come over here to the properties and we can edit this to fit exactly how we need. We can choose the appointment duration. We can add which days, the intervals, if there's going to be a lunch time. We can also add in limits. So maybe we don't want more than three appointments a day. We can add that in right down here. But let's go ahead and add in some more fields. So over on the left hand side, let's go ahead and add in a short text and let's make this be the serial number. And maybe it's for a mechanic and the car is damaged. Maybe we want them to add a photo of the damage. We can do that as well. So let's go ahead and choose file upload right here and we can say image of damage. And we can also add in the long text field. And let's say this is where we can let them elaborate about the issue they're having or more information about their request. Next, another great thing about JotForm is you can integrate with over 30 payment gateways. So over on the left-hand side, we can choose our payment options. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my PayPal business. Perfect, let's go ahead and get connected. And we can see that it's currently on sell products. And this is also going to be the same thing as selling services. So if I choose this, we can also see selling subscriptions, a user defined amount or collecting donations. But again, for us, we're offering a service. So we're gonna leave it on the products option. Let's go ahead and continue. And this is where we can add each one of our services. So let's go ahead and create a couple. Let's say an oil change. And let's just for the sake of this example, let's say that the oil change is $10. And if we have a description we like to add in, we can do that here. We can also add some images, but let's go ahead and save. Now we can see we have oil change $10. Perfect. We can go ahead and head back. Let's create one more product. And let's say this is going to be a tire rotation. And again, just for the sake of this demo, we're gonna say that the tire rotation is also $10. And again, make sure we add a description and an image, makes your form stand out a little bit more. We'll go ahead and hit save. So we can see we have the oil change and the tire rotation. But another thing that we can do is we can make this fit our brand and fit us as a business owner. And we can do that with the form designer in the top right hand corner. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that paint roller. We can change the color scheme. We can change the page color, which is this gray background. And we can also change the form color, which is currently white. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a page image to kind of fit in with our brand and our website, which we are going to be embedding this form on. So let's go ahead and choose a file. 
and we'll upload. Perfect, we can see it is someone who is currently in the process of a tire rotation or change. Now, if we want, we can come up to styles. Maybe you wanna change the font. You have pretty much complete control over your form in the way that it looks. All right, before we give this form a test, I'm gonna go up to the top. Let's go ahead and choose publish. Then over on the left-hand side, we have that embed option because again, we're gonna put this on our website. So let's go ahead and copy that code and I'm gonna head over to my website where we have our repair services. And you can see that image across the top, it fits in with our form. So we have the different services that we offer, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a section right here and I'm gonna make this one a blank section so that way we can make it exactly how we want it. And whatever website you are using, you're going to wanna to choose the option to add HTML. So for me, over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the add elements option. I'm gonna embed code and then embed HTML. And then for us, all we have to do is just paste in that code and update, perfect. Now we can X out of this and let's go ahead and make this fit our website real quick. All right, we are good. Now, again, if you have a mobile version of your website, make sure you edit that so that way it fits perfectly. But we are good. Let's go ahead, let's publish this, and then let's open our website. All right, and here we go. Perfect. And here is our repair request form. So let's go ahead and give this a quick fill out. And let's choose maybe the 21st at 3 p.m. And we didn't require a photo of the damage, so we're going to leave that blank. And let's say I would love a $10 oil change. We'll go ahead and pay with debit credit card and we'll submit and we're good to go. So let's go ahead, jump back over to JotForm. Right now we're currently in the form builder. So let's check out our tables, which is where this data is going to live. All right, we can see Jasmine's information. We have all of her email address. We have that appointment date, we have she wants an oil change, and we have paid by card fields. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm for your mechanic or technical service business, please let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.